Hello guys, looks like we're live up and running. I'm trying something a little bit new. God, my hair is getting bad, isn't it? It's thinning, getting old. Uh, I'm trying a new thing with a new stand and stuff that I've bought. But uh, yeah, I hope you're all having a great weekend. I just wanted to do a really quick video before I rush off out to go and have a burger with a friend of mine. Uh, so this has been inspired by the fact that obviously there's a lot of stuff going on with cryptos at the moment. Loads of people are going to get in, getting involved in this market. And what I've, what I've seen is, um, you know, there's been a little bit of a correction at the moment. People are kind of panicking, which is not unexpected. Um, but, you know, they're kind of going, oh, yeah, you know, there's this big assumption that the market, you know, the cryptocurrencies are going to come back. You know, everyone's kind of ultimately bullish. But, you know, there's this fear and it's all very emotional and stuff. So I just wanted to do a little video about um, cryptos and general kind of wealth management relating to that. And, um, you know, how basically not to go broke. OK, now I'm not, you know, I don't claim to be a, a crypto expert, but I do you know, know some fairly funda fundamental um, kind of principles behind investing and also obviously I've been trading a while and stuff. So first of all, I just want to have a look at like um, your, your macro portfolio, okay, which is which is basically your wealth um, in, in general. Um, so, you know, you, you say if you think about your, your, your macro portfolio, you're basically talking about uh, all the assets that you have, right? So you might have some cash. Can class that kind of a, an asset but you might have houses you might have businesses you might have gold metal silvers stocks shares you know all this stuff pensions ices all of this so that's kind of you know that is your wealth if you like that that's what you've got there now obviously within that what you know ideally you've got a wide range of um uh, a wide range of assets from a risk perspective so some might be very safe some might be a little bit more risky and you know depending on where you are within your life will depend on you know how you want to how you want to kind of look at that but ultimately it's kind of should be a balanced portfolio um, multiple assets diversified so that ultimately it performs on its own with minimal risk okay um, that's kind of the well I'm saying minimal risk you know with the risk that you're happy with that's kind of um, kind of the aim of that okay obviously the aim of your overall wealth portfolio is to not go bankrupt right you you, you need to engineer that machine so that it's safe and whatever and obviously you're going to move uh, in and out of different assets depending on where you are now the reason i'm starting with your your macro portfolio is it just like anything else that you're going to evaluate as to whether it's worth an investment or what you know i'm not just necessarily talking financially but also in time you need to weigh up whether um whether it's worth it, okay? So it's somewhere along this big chunk of, there's 100% of everything you've got in the world, you're gonna evaluate and go, well, okay, I, I'm, I'm interested in crisp, cryptos, so crispos, crispies, cryptos. So how, how much within that kind of 100% am I actually willing to risk, okay? So if you're like, um, I don't know, if, if you're in the 20s, your, your risk could probably be more significant than in your, um, you know, if you're if you're in, like, say, your 70s or something. You know, if you're in your 70s, you don't want to go putting 100% into anything. So all of this is really, uh, you know, this is just basic investment principles, okay? But I don't think people are really thinking like this. So I see a lot of people don't even seem to think about this with cryptos. So what's happening is, you know, they're looking at that portfolio. Well, they're not looking at that portfolio, but they're taking that. Hey, John, how you doing, buddy? They're taking that or too much of that and investing it into something which is basically very high risk. So what I'm kind of saying is for, port, for point one is if you look at it as a as um, a breadth thing, you need to work out how much of your overall um, portfolio you're willing to actually invest in something that is potentially high risk now so when you're actually going through the decision of it that's what you need to evaluate so I personally believe there is um, uh, definitely uh, well definitely that's the wrong word I believe there's a possibility that cryptos are going to play um, a big factor in the future okay I mean I as I say from my perspective I really believe that okay but you need to do your own research and evaluate that and then once you've done all of that that's when you can start working out how much you might want to risk on this potentially uh, risky asset and, and you know like any asset you have to be ready for it to just burn out and blow up right I mean that 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 is the whole point point of anything you know you, you don't go and invest everything in one thing because that one thing can go wrong shit happens in the world okay you know sitting here right now we might all decide that's the absolute best thing to invest in but it can go wrong and that you know that's housing is another one you know everyone invests in housing but that can go wrong um, obviously you know there's, there's again different ways of kind of de-risking that and making it work but I mean the key thing is you know just how much you're worth you know going to risk now so that's your macro portfolio so that's kind of the, the kind of first core point 
is to you know look at that and how much you're willing to risk and and don't you know don't let it take over your life you know if, if this if this does blow up and disappears you need to be able to fight another day yeah? it's ultimately it's risk management so assuming that you have gone forward with this decision you've then got a similar thing again and i would suggest running your crypto um, accounts as a portfolio itself okay so i mean your first decision is do i want to have exposure to cryptos for me that was a yes so the first thing i did was i started buying up what i considered to be a major uh, major crypto so i just wanted exposure to the market exposure to the concept really so as it was for me i, I went and bought a big chunk of um, ether eth ethereum fine um that's great and it's done really well because it's been a massive bull market you you know you can't you can't lose um, well, you couldn't lose, you know, it, it, it's gone up like 500% that original thing. But anyway, that's not about that. What I'm saying is that I'm basically buying up like you might in a, in a, in a stock and buying up what's considered the safer, <laughs> the safest bunch of the cryptos. OK, now, again, I don't want to go into which coins are the safest or whatever. I mean, that's a massive debate in itself. OK, but what I'm getting at is that I've got my original macro portfolio, which has got different risk in it and then I've got a micro portfolio which is my crypto portfolio so a chunk of that is designed to be like safer another chunk of that would be medium risk and then some of it be a little bit more risky and so it's kind of a portfolio within a portfolio and that's kind of the uh, what I wanted to kind of get across here and again this is just my way of doing it so but by doing it this way um, you know you've then got your micro portfolio and different um, different bits within that will be performing it different ways so to say you might have safer ones um, which, which are the kind of bigger blue chips, you might then have some kind of um, I had some different alternative smaller coins. I've got a whole bunch of those. And then at the higher risk end, you've got, um, you know, you, you can actually trade these things or, you know, you can get involved in the ICOs or you, these pump and dump stuff. And again, I'm not I'm not saying whether to do any of this stuff or not. I mean, who knows? But I'm just saying that in your mind, try and slice up into uh, into different bits. You know, you've got the high risk stuff, which could be the pump and dumps or the, uh, you know, then moving into kind of ICOs, slightly less riskier. Then, then you've got your altcoin um, investments, a uh, little bit less risky again. Then potentially buying and diversifying across all of the um, uh, the big, you know, the majors, uh, slightly less risky again. In theory, because effectively we're talking about, you know, by buying up majors, you're effectively getting exposure to the overall market. That's the idea, you know, and and. and and that. So, yeah, and then, of course, that portfolio is one portfolio within your bigger portfolio, OK, which is your overall portfolio. But that was all I wanted to get across, really, because I'm seeing, uh, you know, and I've seen these in, in, in trading circles. I just get this feeling lots of people are kind of, you know, people are kind of panicking. Oh, I keep buying up. And, uh, you know, the old classic is I've seen people... Um, you know, the market's retracing, which is a great opportunity to get in and buy when the market's down. Things are cheaper, right? But if you're already in, if you've already put in your allocation, uh, you know, as I'm saying, so, you know, you've got, the, in the, I'm talking about your micro portfolio now, uh, so your crypto account, if you've got that much that you said you're going to invest into alts and you've done it and then the market's falling down, where does that money come from? The, uh, the only way that money can kind of come in is if you invest more in it. And the minute you do that, you're actually over leveraging because you're eating into your overall portfolio if that makes more sense you're taking money for whoa taking money <laughs> just smashing things up as i go taking money for else yet where i'm putting it in and that is not good because then you over leverage your risk is going up and that's how things can go wrong because who knows we all think it's a bull at the moment i say we all a lot of us think it's a bull some people are massively skeptical but no one knows it can go totally wrong yet yeah, as john's saying don't put your hopes and dreams into one investment Pretty, uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds so straightforward once you know this stuff, right? But some people don't seem to. And also you can get caught up in the emotion and all the rest of it. So anyway, I just wanted to say that I hope it was valued, valuable to someone. Uh, thank you, John, for um, for, for um, uh, your thumbs up, man. Always appreciate the support. Appreciate anyone that watches this and gets something out of it. That's all I want to do really is try and help people along the way. It's awesome that we can help. And the social media and all this cool stuff allows us to do that. So I'm just going to say... Have a fantastic weekend. I'm off to go and uh, take my buddy out for a burger down uh, down in uh, the, the, the sunny sights of Camberley. But uh, yeah, I love you all. Get out there, live the dream, have fun, and don't over leverage. Live the dream.